Hi, I'm Val Mishka. I'm a sophomore, screenwriting and playwriting major. Pillow Thoughts is a play about the awkward, intimate moments that can arise with a new partner. And I wanted to address a topic that is often overlooked and hardly ever talked about. So I hope you enjoy. Pillow Thoughts by Val Mishka. Lights up. A, messy, a bed with messy sheets sits center stage. There is a side table to the right. A lamp sits on a stack of books. Two college students enter, Cam and Diane. They both seem nervous. The boy walks over to the lamp and turns it on. This is his bedroom. He sits on the bed and starts taking off his shoes. Oh, right. Sorry. Please sit down if you want. Diane slips off her coat. She places it on the ground. Nice room. Didn't know you liked the breakfast club. Diane sits on the bed. She points towards the audience, referencing a poster on the wall. It's a classic. One of my favorites for sure. You like it? Diane unties her shoelaces. Yeah, it's pretty good. What's your favorite? Diane slips off her shoes and places them at the foot of the bed. Um, I don't know. I always hate when people ask that question. Oh, sorry. No, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. Cam looks around the room. He makes slight glances at Diane, but doesn't want her to notice. Your bed is really soft. It's the jersey sheets. <laughs> Cam moves closer to Diane. They both feel as sheets at the same time. Aren't they kind of baggy? I don't mind. My mom hates that they twist and stuff in the washer, so I've always just had cotton. Jersey is nice, though. So, should we? Probably, right? When does your roommate get back? Usually around 12.30, sometimes 12.15, depending on how long his hands can withstand the cold. Wow, that's like an hour. Benefits of rooming with a pothead. He's chill though, don't worry. I wish I had that. My roommate always like bursts in the room. It's like I never even hear her key. That is. Anyways, back to before. I think we could, you know, start. He turns off the lamp, but a pink glow lights the stage. Mood lighting. Respect. I try. Diane leans back on her elbows. Cam leans in. Lights dim. Spotlight on Diane while Cam remains still. She is breaking the fourth wall. I don't know why guys have to make it so awkward. I mean, my elbows are killing me. All I can focus on are the guys skateboarding in the hallway. Who does that? At least his room is pretty clean. And he's cute. Still, what's with all the noise? I wish you'd put on some music. Back to reality. Cam starts kissing Diane's neck. She seems displeased. You want me to play some music? Yeah, that'd be great. I'll be less distracted. Spotlight on him. Music? I mean, what kind? I don't want to send the wrong message. How loud? If I start playing something, what if I start singing? I have a tendency to do that. She can't know I do that. No? No, I got it. I mean, I'm a sensitive guy. Fuck! Back to reality. Cam walks over to a side table and selects Careless Whisper by George Michael. He strokes Diane's inner thigh. Spotlight on Diane. Is he fucking with me right now? No doubt. Definitely a virgin. Listen, we both know what we want, so let's just jump into it. Jump into what exactly? Just make out with me. Touch my face. Slightly grab my ass. Good amount of tongue. Can I touch your... Breasts? Yes, thanks for asking. I mean, consent and all. Okay, when you're ready. Cam grabs Diane's face and kisses her. They start making out. You're a really good kisser. 
I know. Dan puts Cam's hands on her hips. She gestures for him to take off her sweater. He blindly continues to kiss her. Take off my sweater. Cam attempts to pull it off. Diane's hair gets caught. Ow, ow. Cam continues to try to pull it off. Fuck, my hair is caught. Oh, oh. shit. I'm sorry. Cam untangles Diane's hair and successfully pulls her sweater off. She's wearing a tank top. Cam eyes Diane's chest. Can I? Like, again, need a verbal answer. Consent. Yes, you may. Cam places his hand on Diane's breast. Great size. Spotlight on Diane. I've never understood guys' obsessions with boobs. I guess it's because they don't have them. Spotlight moves to Cam. Holy shit! Spotlight moves to Diane. I'll admit they are fun to play with sometimes. I wish I knew what it was like to be a guy. Spotlight moves to Cam. He looks down at his pants. Uh-oh. Is she going to be weirded out that I have a boner? Fuck! Spotlight moves to Diane. It's like, guys are attractive, but there's nothing really, like, fun about them. Well, that's not totally true. I've had my fair share of playing with the balls. I wonder if he's into that sort of thing. Spotlight moves to Cam. I really hope she plays with, you know, is it bad that I'm into that? Whatever, I'm touching her. Spotlight on Diane. She looks at Cam's groping hand. God, he has really nice hands. Diane takes Cam's hand and moves it down to her inner thigh. Cam runs his fingers up and down. Diane grabs Cam's face and starts kissing him. She licks his neck. He squeals <laughs> and pushes Diane away. I'm sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no, it's just, I'm very ticklish. Really? Diane jumps up and starts to tickle him. <laughs> Seriously, stop. I can't take it. Diane stops and rolls over laughing. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. You just look so cute and innocent. <laughs> well, let's see how you like it. Cam tries to tickle Diane, but she doesn't move. I'm not ticklish. How is that possible? I endured lots of tickle torture as a kid. I think I'm like immune to it now. Will you come here and kiss me already? Diane grabs Cam's shirt and pulls him down to the bed. They start to kiss. Spotlight on Cam. This is it. It's gonna happen. Relax. Hot girl in your room. Wait, did I clean up this morning? Cam pulls his waistband out. Fuck. No, no, it'll be okay. It's fine. Remember, hot girl in your room. You got this. Cam collects himself. They kiss more. Cam moves his hand to the top of Diane's jeans. Spotlight on Diane. Holy shit. I underestimated him. Cam tries to undo Diane's jeans, but the button is tight. What the fuck is wrong with your clothing? That button is so tight. How do you wear those? <laughs> Here, I'll undo them. <laughs> Diane undoes her button. She undoes Cam's pants as well. Now we're even. They both stare into each other's eyes. Both of their mouths begin to part. I have to tell you something. Cam hesitates for a moment. I'm not very experienced. Really not experienced at all. I can tell. Don't worry about it. Honestly, I prefer inexperienced. Guys like you tend to be a lot more generous. Cam places his hand on Diane's. She starts kissing him on the back of his neck. What about you? I'd say I'm pretty generous too. No, I mean, how experienced are you? Oh, um, very experienced. Probably the most experienced girl at the school. Oh. An uncomfortable silence. Did I say something wrong? No. Well, it's just that I kind of wanted it to be special. 
not saying that I'm flattered, but I guess I just didn't want to be some type of conquest. Diane is unsure of what to say. She twirls her hair in her fingers. Listen, I may be a little further along than you physically, but that doesn't make it less difficult. What do you mean? It's not important. I tend to overthink and shouldn't have said anything. We're planning to, you know, have sex. People always say it's no big deal, but how can that be true? I mean, it's vulnerable. So why not just tell me? Diane doesn't say anything. Cam's eyes shift around the room. He bobs his knee up and down. It shakes the bed. Cut it out. Cam stops. He starts to curl into himself. I just hate when the bed shakes. Diane looks at Cam. I'm sorry. I've been such a bitch to you and I don't even know why. You haven't been a, a bitch at all. Is something wrong? I don't want to be nosy, but you seem upset. Did I do something? It's not really easy to say. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I understand. Diane nervously plays with her hands. She opens her mouth, but she can't seem to get the words out. Cam moves close to her and slips Diane's hair behind her ear. She quickly glances at him. Sex. It isn't always simple for me. Cam leans back. Diane bites her nails for a few seconds. I used to not be able to do it at all because it hurt so much. Oh. Dan turns away from Cam. The first time I figured it was normal. I mean, everyone said it might hurt, but I had never felt pain like that before. So after a while, I tried again and again, and well, it never went away. I would cry, scream even. Really? Cam shifts the seat. I got called a freak. I didn't think people would be so cruel. I just didn't know what was wrong with me. Well. It sucks. It's kind of like a condition. I had to see, see lots of doctors and, well, I still struggle. And I just don't want you to be freaked out. It's not normal. You sit there in silence for a second. Diane is curled away from Cam. He turns slightly and places his hand on Diane's back. Trust me, I don't care about that stuff. You're beautiful. And I'm honestly just happy you'd even consider letting me inside you. Inside me? <laughs> I immediately regretted that word choice. <laughs> Diane collects herself. I mean, it is correct. Your penis would indeed be inside me. <laughs> That's not, let's just not talk about it. <laughs> Seriously, though, who cares? And I'm sure it's normal. Our bodies are weird. They don't always make sense. Diane bites her lip. That's the hottest thing anyone has ever said to me. Diane puts her hands around Cam's neck and kisses him like she's never kissed anyone before. Their breathing turns heavy. Hot light on Cam. Yeah! About to have sex! Spotlight on Diane. I can't believe I'm about to deflower a guy who played Careless Whisper. Fuck it. Like the man says, I gotta have faith. Lights out.